So one of the things that we've really been wanting to do for our own tiny house build is go out and see some examples of things that other people have done. The problem is that there aren't too many tiny houses that have been built in New Zealand. In fact, I know of only a few. But we got contacted the other day on our website by Shay, and her and her partner have recently completed, or they're finishing up now, their own tiny house build. So they've invited us out to check it out. We're on our way now, and I'm looking forward to seeing their place. Beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. We're building a straw bale house next door. And oh, fantastic. Who knows how long that's going to take. So we couldn't afford to rent somewhere and we thought this would be a really cool option. Very cool. So yeah, we thought, yeah. so who knows how long we're going to be living in here. It could be a year or it could be 10. <laughs> yeah. so, so for you guys, this is kind of a stepping stone house. This yeah. is a long term plan. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I think, well, I don't know, maybe it is possible to have kids in a, in a house this small. I think yeah. it is. Maybe one. <laughs> but. Yeah, we'll, we're building a, a slightly bigger house next door, cool. but it's still yeah. small by Kiwi standards and today's standards. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see inside. Oh, let's, yeah. let's have a Come look. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was finished to show you, but yeah, as I mentioned, it takes a lot longer than you think. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's been such it's... a learning curve, eh? Oh. So, oh. how big is it? The first, that's how you said it's the first thing I because it feels really spacious. It feels big, doesn't it? It's yeah. The trailer's 7.2 meters yeah. long, plus 2.4 wide. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So what would that be? About 15 square meters? That's, yeah, a bit over 15 yeah. square meters. Yeah. yeah, we were amazed at how spacious it felt. Yeah. We kind of were expecting it to feel a lot smaller. Like, yeah. yeah. And then once, I think it's because the ceilings are so high. Mm. Yeah, that so what, what's the lot? height here? 4.25. To the five. top of the outside. So you guys yeah. pretty much maxed, maxed out. You maxed <laughs> yeah. out width and you maxed out height. I think we're like two <laughs> centimeters too high. But oh, actually, okay. once the um, springs on the wheels went down, it was yeah. it lowered a bit. So. Yeah. And I suppose if it's not one that's designed to be moving often. all the time anyway, exactly. it doesn't really matter exactly. if it's slightly oversized. Uh, if we were yeah. going to be moving it often, I'd, I'd suggest to people to go a little bit lower, just so you don't have to be so fanatical about the power lines. Yeah, yeah. Because we had like yeah. a long bamboo pole and we were running around checking the power lines. So you didn't build it on site, you guys no, built we, it somewhere else and moved it here? Yeah, yeah, we moved it here about two weeks ago. Eh? Mm, right. Yeah. That was a pretty nerve-wracking day. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. oh my gosh, so many police on the road that day, we got stopped. <laughs> oh, did you actually? Yeah, listen to this. We were so excited to see it move. We got stopped, and and so did Tiny House. And Tiny House, they just said carry on, and we didn't have our warrant, so we couldn't we couldn't go with the house, so we missed oh, the whole thing. No. <laughs> but uh, it's all right. It got here. We arrived, and it was just neatly plopped on, and we were like, oh my god. <laughs> Very cool. So let's uh, let's all go right. tour it. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, there's not. Uh, it doesn't take that long <laughs> to do the tour. This is the lounge, obviously. Yeah. And. We've, oh my, I haven't actually checked these drawers, we've just like shoved everything in. Okay, that's Tom's drawers, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and these are bras sticking out, so there's, <laughs> that's basically Tom's wardrobe, and that's my wardrobe. Yeah. But See, we, these are great. This is such yeah. a such a good idea, right? We found that, because yeah. I go to the toilet about twice a night. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to kill myself if I have a ladder. Like, I, I just knew that I would... Yeah. It would not be a good situation, so yeah, yeah, I, I wanted some stairs. And you need the storage anyway, so you may as well, you know, Yeah, that's what we thought. Yeah, and yeah, we just absolutely. felt like there's actually so much space, like, what would we use that for otherwise? Yeah. I mean, it just seems like, you know, it is tiny, but it's it's spacious too. And yeah. So yeah, I mean, half of these drawers aren't even being used. And, yeah. And we have We've got shoe space down there, there. Yeah. and this is for yeah. hanging clothes in here? Yeah. 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 It hasn't got the... The um, what's it, pole thing in yet? So it's just. But you oh, see, yeah, I mean, yeah. we've got all our stuff in here. Yeah, that's heaps. Like half empty. Scuba gear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have it. So, yes, yeah, we found mm. like the space is not an issue so far. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. And this is just a real thin little pantry for mason jars and stuff. Yep, that's yeah. no, so good. Hey. Quite handy. Actually, I mean, not shallow it. storage in a kitchen is actually so much more useful. It is, isn't it? You don't want to reach behind everything. I know, because then there's things that at the back of the pantry, you look at them and it's like, oh my goodness, this is 
expired in 2008. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's going to be really good. Yeah, and, and the, the kitchen spacious as well, eh? Like, yeah. How, how deep is the counter here? This is 500 and okay. in a normal kitchen it's 600. Yeah. So we just took off 10 centimeters because it just made that much difference. I don't think you feel it though, do you? I don't think no, you feel it at all. Yeah, so you're not you're not hauling water in, you're going to be... Well, we, uh, well, you mean like having like a tank or something here? Yeah. No, we've we've gonna we're gonna link link it up to the mains. Up to the mains. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. So yeah, sort of in hindsight, we were thinking it would be quite cool to do it off grid because it's now taking a while to get our plumbing and our electrics. And whereas if we'd built it off grid, we'd just be like, yeah, it's yeah. ready to go. Enough. Although we're learning that comes with a whole new world of its own problems. It's so yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. I mean, it would. It would be. That's kind of probably why we didn't do it is because we couldn't find enough information about it. So yeah. Yeah. if you guys had done it before us, maybe we would have copied you. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So. I wish there was somebody to copy. Yeah. That, I know. Yeah. Someone's yeah. going to be the guinea pig though. Yeah, but that's why we're here because yeah. we might be copying off you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Yeah, well, everyone learns off each other, don't yeah. we? So yeah, yeah. This is going to be where our gas um, stove is going to be. Yep. And we're just trying to find a narrower one because they're all 500. Right. So that's one thing because we... Well, we could do a two burner, but just four burner is just a bit, I don't know. It's a little bit more easier practical, to use. I suppose, yeah. yeah. So there was a really nice, long, narrow one, which would have been perfect, but it was super expensive. So we were like, okay, barbecue for a few months and then yep. maybe we can get that one. Fair enough. Yeah. And then we're going to have a proper extractor fan because yep. we eat a lot of curry and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. And in a small house, you've really got to pay attention to that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. Because yeah, you exactly. don't want your whole space just to be smelling like yeah. cooking all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And um, this is just going to be a mirror splashback. So it reflects yep. some light and makes it feel bigger. Yeah. That's a clever idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I hope so. I hope it'll yeah. be a clever idea once it's done. <laughs> and this is the bathroom in here. Yeah. Yep. So, this is the bathroom. It's very unfinished, as you can see. Yep. Yeah. And we were, we were really unsure what to do about the toilet because a bucket toilet was like it seemed really primitive but mm. actually now that we're doing the sawdust toilet we're getting it's actually not a hassle yeah. at all mm. so this is the the lovable low like human you yeah. handbook method yeah exactly yeah. and you have like a black drum that then you or a drum of some sort that you put everything into yeah or the the big um composting things that they do but I saw one lady she just has this black drum and she puts everything in there and once she's once it's full she closes it up for a year and then that it just turns to soil, and then she uses another one while that one's been closed. Yeah. So, so how long really how long have you been using the composting toilet now? About mm. two weeks. Yeah, we've only been living here for about two weeks. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so you're you're already adjusted to it, or you're still kind of getting used to it? No, I I find it fine. I find it quite <laughs> interesting. Yeah. And and so it's in use now. Yeah. And I, there's absolutely no smell. No, yeah, there's nothing. No well, I was right, hoping because so. I was like, my mom's like, you're gonna get used to the smell because she's totally not sold on the idea, as you can yeah. imagine. She's a bit older, and and she's like, yeah, you're gonna get used to the smell. People are gonna come around, it's gonna stink of poo, and you're not gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, mm, yeah, yeah, no, you would never know, eh? Okay, that's, really good. Good. No, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, really yeah. cool. Which actually puts my mind at ease a bit because yeah. that's one of the things that we've been worried about. Yeah, because you think, well, it works for other people, but I still don't quite believe it. Like, yeah. it seems too weird. Like, yeah, well, we're just you? so used to having that kind of flush away disposable yeah. culture, right? Yeah. And yeah. You never have to think about it, and which we're all like taught to be afraid of our poo. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I also want to say that the showers. Oh, oh yeah, the showers. Full shower. size, so it, well, it's 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 a normal house shower, so it's right. quite a, a good size. It's eight eight ninety or something. Oh right, okay, that is quite. Oh, eight hundred by eight hundred, yeah. and so yeah, that's something that we were quite. Uh, and it's yeah, uh, an acrylic base. Sure we got. Yeah, acrylic base. Yeah, and it's just going to have a um, yeah glass front. Yeah, and then yeah. those are tiles, which are really pretty. Yeah, they are They're beautiful. <laughs> That's a cool thing um, about the. It's brave using tiles in a movable house, isn't it? Mm. Like, yeah, I think if we were going to move it often, we wouldn't. Yeah. But because it's not going to be moved often, then we and would I, like. And I guess yeah. in the case of your build, you were able to move it on site, park it, yeah, and then yeah. fit it with that yeah. sort of stuff. Where I've seen a few people who have used tiles, so. So yeah, I want to talk to you about materials, but I but let's um have a look upstairs yeah. first. The stairs are a little bit above the normal size of stairs. Yeah. So, okay, you, this is quite tight for you because you're so tall. Yeah, no, I am a giant, so... <laughs> <laughs> but for us, you'll it's, see... It's still comfortable. It's heaps of space. Yeah. Yeah, because we sort of set it up on the ground and I was like, Tom, we're not going to be able to even yeah. stand, sit up in here. Yeah. But once we built it, it was just, I don't know, it seemed to find space from nowhere. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, so how high is this, like the, the stud on, on this part of the house? Uh, mm. I don't know, actually. Sure, I can't actually. remember. 
it, it, we didn't have it. Yeah. I did know, but I've forgotten. Because <laughs> yeah. it's like one of those things that it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a practical living space. Eh? It's like how often yeah. do you actually stand up yeah. on your bed anyway? Exactly. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, and I, I think it's there's something actually really cozy about it. Like, so as mm. long as you can set up, which yeah. yeah, which I can, and I'm yeah six four. Yeah, so, exactly. Yes. Yeah. And so Tom sleeps on that side because he doesn't get up in the night and I sleep here so it's easier for me to get to the cedar. And can you smell the cedar at all? I can, I can. So this Slightly. is this is cedar here, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Cedar. yeah. We wanted to go with something native but we were just really pushing it with the weight. Yeah. And cedar's mm. so light. Yeah. So, we like, so how heavy is it? It's... We don't know exactly but I did a little calculation kind of estimate thing and I think it's about three and a half tons. So, yeah. so had you guys ever done anything like this before? No. <laughs> uh, well, we've done a little bit of building, but not really this sort of building. Yeah, we, Tom's we built a deck. Mud. <laughs> yeah, we built we a little building, cob studio. Building. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, so we've done that, but that's totally different. It it's is like, totally different. It's so much easier. <laughs> it's more labor intensive, but just, I mean, mixing mud, anyone can do it. Sure. And then yeah. you just like put the windows in. It's really easy, but nothing like this. Yeah, anyone can do it. You can it. learn pretty much everything you need just from YouTube, YouTube. videos and stuff, eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's pretty cool, really. Yeah. You don't need to be a builder. No. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And there's something about building your own house that you just love it so much more. Yeah. Like, I was lying in bed the other night and I like got a knot on my stomach. I go, this is our home, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, and I'm sure if somebody else had built it for me, I would never have, you know, I wouldn't be like that. Mm. Like, it's kind of just feels really special, eh? <laughs> you know what's coming I know. Yeah. And, and I was the yeah. same before we started I just wanted to find what other people had spent but it's kind of hard to get a straight answer on that yeah. yeah so so far we've spent 20 grand yeah and I think by the time we've finished everything and this includes all the fittings it'll be about 24 which, which I think is fantastic yeah. yeah I think that's absolutely brilliant I mean right. when you look at the quality of everything you've got here mm. and the yeah. space that you've got yeah. here yeah yeah and I mean you'd be paying that in rent anyway yeah, exactly. well, that's two years, yeah. less than two years rent. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, we worked out average rent in New Zealand is one hundred and fifty dollars a week each. Yeah. It's three hundred dollars. It works out at just over um, eighteen thousand dollars a year that the yeah. average yeah. couple in New Zealand pays. Yeah, exactly, mm. exactly. So, I was saying to yeah. somebody the other day, I wish I'd done this straight out of university. Oh yeah. That would be so, awesome. if there's any young, you know, university graduates watching this or people leaving school. Build yourself a tiny house, you're going to save so much money. And instead of, you know, after a few years have passed, that rent money is nowhere to be seen, but a few years after living in a tiny house, you've still got the house. You've still, you know, it just makes so much sense. Exactly. It's yours yeah. and it's debt free and, exactly. it's, and it's home. Exactly, it is home. And it's, and it's beautiful. Like, I mean, it might be small, but it's still home. Yeah. So. I feel like I could move in. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I could always move out and you could share a beer with Tom. All right, you got it on camera, it's happening. <laughs> Here we go. I tried to show myself.